Hi, Michelle Seitz here. You're watching Auto Text, Building Blocks, and Galleries. Here's the scenario. You have some text that you would like to save as auto text. You would also like to have your building block entries be displayed at the top of the gallery. Watch this video to learn how to do this. Auto text is used to store text parts or figures or fields to use over and over and are stored in Word so that when you open up a new document, these items will be available when you need them. They will be stored in galleries, which are stored in building blocks, which are stored in a building block organizer. A building block is much like auto text in that you can store them to be used when you need them. A gallery is used to store different building block entries. There are several galleries in Word, such as auto text, bibliographies, cover pages, equations, footers, headers, page numbers, table of contents, tables, text boxes, and watermarks. To create a new auto text entry, such as formatted text, create the entry, add all the characteristics, such as bold and a font color, select it, and then click Alt F3. This will open the Create New Building Block dialog box. Another way to save your selection to the Building Blocks Gallery, go to the Insert tab in the Text group, click the down arrow on Quick Parts, and at the bottom of the list, select Save Selection to Quick Part Gallery. This will display the Create New Building Block dialog box. You don't have to save your selection as auto text. You can change it to another gallery by clicking the down arrow on the gallery field and making your choice. Name your new building block. And if you would like to have your entry displayed at the top of the list in those galleries, just add a space before the name of your entry and click OK. If you need to edit an entry in the Building Blocks Organizer, go to Insert, click on the Quick Parts in the Text group, and select Building Blocks Organizer. Now the Building Blocks Organizer is displayed. If you select one of the entries and click on Edit Properties, another dialog box will open, the Modify Building Block dialog box. I'll start with a category field. When you click on the down arrow in this field, you'll see some selections. One is create new category. So if you'd like to name your own category, you would just click on this field and name it. The categories will be in alphabetical order, except of course, create new category selection. It's important to know that when the list is presented in the gallery, so for instance, if I click on references and the table of contents, the listings in the gallery will display the categories in alphabetical order. Now to go back to the Modify Building Block dialog box, you can change the name of the entry. Just overwrite what's there. As I mentioned before, if you want this entry to be at the top of the list in this category, add a space before the entry in the name field. You can enter a description if you want, but that is optional. If you want the entry to be available in any Word document that is created with the normal.dotm, which is normally a new blank document, then select normal.dotm in the Save In field. If, however, you have a different template open and you want it saved in that template every time it is opened, then click the down arrow and select that particular template. In the Options field, there are three selections. The first one is insert content only. So for example, you have a company name that you save as auto text. This text alone will be inserted at the cursor position. You can have text before and after this entry. The second option is the insert contents in its own paragraph. So for example, a table of contents would be inserted in its own paragraph so that no text except the table of contents entries are displayed in this particular paragraph. It, however, can be on the same page as other text, but there is no text in the same paragraph. In the third option, Insert Contents on its own page, 
If you have a new entry that you want displayed by itself on a page, you would select this option and the entry will be moved to the next page and a page break will be added below the entry. To insert auto text, just go to the quick parts, select auto text and make your selection. Again, on the insert tab in the text group, click on quick parts, auto text and make your selection. And that is the end of this lesson, auto text, building blocks and galleries.